Thank you. Hey guys, Callie Fav here, and today I'm going to do a different type of video for me. I had one of my friends here on YouTube, I will link her channel down below, but it's Rachel Winters, and she tagged me in the beauty community tag, but I was thinking I also want to do this one, and this one's the My Makeup Style tag, so I figured I would do that one today since I haven't done a video more chatty like this, so I figured I would, and yeah, so I'm going to be looking down at my phone occasionally just to look up the questions, but let's just get right on into it. So the first question I have is what kind of eye primer do you use and why, and is it liquid primer or a shadow stick? Okay, so the eye primer that I personally use is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I'm just trying to use this one up. It's more of a cream base than a liquid base, I would say, and I don't use shadow stick primers ever. I'm trying to work on getting into more of those, but typically I don't even use eye primer. I use an eye cream, and then other than that, I might use this one. I might not. If I forget it, oh well, I'm not bothered by it. It seems like my shadow does stay on longer when I use this, but if I'm just trying to film for the day and then take my makeup off, or if I'm just going to, you know, an event at night, like a dinner or something like that, I won't even bother using it. If I'm going to work all day, then I will use it. So just kind of depends, but typically, like, I'm not mad if I forget to use it. Like, today I completely forgot to use it, and I don't really care. <laughs> so 2A is what color eyeshadow makes you feel bold and pretty at the same time? So personally for me a bold but pretty look would be a very smoky eye with a colored shadow over top. Today I have a much lighter eye on but if I have like a very like black smoked out look with some kind of shimmer shade on top that I feel bold and pretty at the same time. And then 2B is, what eyeshadow color do you least like to wear and why? Typically, my least favorite shades are like purples and cranberries, just because I feel like they make me look like I have a black eye. <laughs> That's like totally the complete honest truth for me. Because of my skin tone, when I wear those colors, they don't stand out as much. And then they just look like I'm bruised. They, they look like I've been punched in the eye. I do have like a slight cranberry shade underneath today but I don't smoke it out too much because it just doesn't look great on me in my opinion but every other color I do really enjoy wearing. Question number three is do you wear liquid or pencil eyeliner, black or brown liner? So if I wear liquid it's on the top. I typically don't wear eyeliner at all but if I am wearing liquid eyeliner, it's black for sure, like the blackest black I can find. And I do like a slight cat eye. I don't do it every day and I don't really typically like to wear it. If I wear pencil or gel eyeliner, it's always on the waterline. And I don't know, I don't wear that often either because it irritates my eyes most of the time. Even if it is like the ColourPop one that doesn't irritate my eyes very much, it's just irritating being there. So I typically don't wear eyeliner at all, but if I had to choose between the two, I would probably choose um, liquid eyeliner just because it goes on top and it doesn't irritate my eyes as much. And number four is CoverGirl or Maybelline Mascara. Come on, you know you're one way or the other. I am definitely a Maybelline type of gal, so I'm actually wearing one of my favorite Maybelline mascaras today over top of the Essence Lash, Pr Lash Princess. I am wearing the Maybelline Great Lash in Berry Black. This one's one of my absolute favorite Holy Grail mascaras. Super cheap, inexpensive. I love it. It lasts so long and it separates the lashes while building up the coverage of the blackness and making my lashes look much thicker. So I love Maybelline. If I had to choose between the two, it'd definitely be Maybelline mascaras. So number five is, if you could have your brows permanently done or not wear blush for the rest of your life, which would you choose? So personally, I love blush, so I wouldn't choose that one but I don't want my eyebrows permanently done. There's no way in HE Double Hockey Sticks I would ever want that done. I personally don't really do my brows unless I'm gonna be filming. So if I'm just at work or if I'm just around the house or whatever, I don't do anything to my eyebrows, literally nothing. I will use a spoolie and I will just brush them out so they don't look crazy, but I don't do anything to my eyebrows. So for me personally, this isn't a very good question because I love blush but I would not do my eyebrows. There's no way. So I don't really know how to answer that, but I don't really like this question. 
Number six is, does your best friend or you wear more makeup? I definitely wear more makeup. She wears it more consistently, but um, I definitely wear more when I'm wearing it. She has to wear makeup every single day because she's very acne prone and I mean, she doesn't have to obviously, but she likes to wear makeup every single day to cover up her um, acne scarring and acne. But for me, I don't have to wear it every day, but when I do, I definitely wear more than her. Um, number seven is who taught you how to do makeup? The internet and YouTube taught me how to do makeup. My friends at work telling me, hey, you know, that kind of doesn't look so good or hey, that looks really great. My husband, I mean, he didn't teach me, but he's helped, you know, me figure out my style when it comes to makeup because he kind of is like, oh, honey, your, your, your face is melting off. And I'm like, oh, perfect. And then when I try on new like eyebrow colors, I'll be like, honey, what do you think of this one? And he's like, what's wrong with your eyebrows? <laughs> so I definitely think that family and friends have had a big influence, but actually learning how to apply and what type of steps that I like and stuff like that is definitely YouTube and the internet. Number eight is, are you a fan of cream products, blush, bronzer, contour, etc.? Why or why not? Absolutely not a, cre a cream product fan at all. Um, the only cream product that I've used and enjoyed is a ColourPop highlighter that I had in my uh, project pan last year in 2017. But other than that, I don't like cream anything. I've pretty much gotten rid of all of my cream products since and I just, I don't like them. They don't look good on me. They smear, they smudge my, they smudge my foundation underneath. I just don't enjoy using them, so I don't. Number nine is, are you a project panner? Yes, I am a project panner. What projects are you in right now? Right now I'm in a collab with Courtney K and I can never remember her channel, but I will link her below because she mentioned me on a comment the other day. And we are doing the eight by Easter project pan. And I'm also in a collab with the Fantastic Lady most of the ladies that are doing the hashtag seven deadly pans project pan that I'm in are from Instagram so I will try to find some of their Instagrams down below but it's if you just look up hashtag seven deadly pans you can find them if you are looking for it and the other project pan that I'm doing is actually a sample project pan and that one I'm doing with Stacy Landreth here on YouTube for me and Instagram for her. She does an awesome job updating all of her products. Every single time she gets 10 products used up, she updates and she's just a great person. So I will link her down below as well, but I'm in three currently right now. Number 10 says setting spray. Do you believe in it? Which is your holy grail? Yes, I definitely 100% believe in setting sprays. And my holy grail, if I had to choose just one setting spray for the rest of my life, it would be the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. That one seems to work the best for me. It smells a little off, which I don't appreciate and I don't really love, but it's okay. Um, and that's the one I would repurchase over and over again if I had the choice to only purchase one. The other one that I really like is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I use this one all the time. I am currently using up a sample, but I have a full size backup and I love it. It makes my face so glowy and just, I love it. It's so nice. It, the sprayer on it is so gentle and I really do enjoy those too. Definitely Urban Decay is my holy grail, but this one's moving up very, very quickly. So those were all 10 questions for the My Makeup Style tag. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about me. Some of the stuff I know you definitely already knew, but I hope you enjoyed learning something a little bit more. And if you want to do this tag, absolutely go ahead and do it. I know it's been moving around the beauty community here for quite a while, but I just kind of wanted to get in on it because I thought it would be a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.